None of these appear to be a leader, so they don't have a super bonus. What is this, though? Rock slot. Falling rocks will kill any unit they hit. Oh, jeez. trying to think if I should position myself so I can do the relentless charge, but I don't think that's really necessary right now. Just start the shot. It's the safest thing. One out of habit, but I also made one disengage. Make make use of it at these people. <laughs> That's actually that was actually kind of in a way worth it. And I could wrath this person. Really? Wow. Okay, that was actually really um, <laughs> effective of a turn. It did take a little bit of a hit, but it's not enough to cause her to have an injury, I would assume. So out of the three people, these two will be next. Does that actually do more damage? Okay, so I think Fury, I think Relentless Charge is affected by that. That's actually kind of cool. I can either do nine to possibly three of them, or we'll just do Bash. We'll just go ahead and do Bash. He's going to stay there, and we're going to go and back away and let the rocks take care of him. Eleven hit points. 
You're surrounded. We might be able to gank you in one hit. I guess it doesn't really matter because this is a temporary point, Valor, so we'll just go and weaken you. In turn there. Nope. We're just gonna walk out of that and let him get crushed. Right, that's how this works. <laughs> that's a good ending. I like that. Damage reduced, take back 30%. Two rounds. Stabilize. Guard reduced to zero. I don't have anything that reduces enemy guard. We don't have a way to reduce guard yet, I think, so that might be what we do. We could spend 10 influence to get another dose of willpower, and I think we will, because that could save us money in the long run, because he might avoid getting an injury. I didn't do it earlier because 2 points is 40 and 1 point is 10, so there's a substantial difference in how much, how much we have to pay for influence. I think we'll do it this way. One of the characters had like 14 willpower from one jump. I don't know why that was. Or maybe I just was looking at Constitution. I must have been looking at Constitution. Oh, I'm getting willpower and Constitution mixed up. Constitution is the one with hit points. Willpower is to survive battle. Okay. Well, whatever it is, I do eventually want both. I think I may have messed up a little bit there, but it'll be okay. I, I know it will be okay. We have one more mission to do, so we'll go and repair all. Does your shield need repair? No. Uh, not that I think I can pass your shield to anybody, but I think I can pass their armor to you. Can't really see what that says. Iron ore pick up. New profession miner. Okay. And what would... Plus one constitution. I think everybody's brawny, aren't they? Yeah, everybody's brawny. Maybe the, the swordsman, I guess. That actually sounds really good for him to have constitution. Learn how to mine. Place your circle on place your cursor on the mining circle. Press left click when the green circle overlaps the gray one together, maximum ore. Oh, I, on here? Okay. I, I clicked anywhere and I was and I gotta match it. So this is like Osu. Except, you know, not musical and a lot slower. <laughs> Oh, man. I'm, I guess I'm just destined to mess up on the first one of every one of these. Center does work. I was trying to aim right for the gray, <laughs> but doing doing center actually is okay too. We are a minor apprentice. Does it come for a better stat bonus by any chance? I don't know. Plus one strength. Yeah, it does. I like it. I kind of like this whole sub profession thing. I don't like that. I mean, I don't know. I feel like they should just do away with sub profession and just make it a sub skill, and you can just level them up at any point. But whatever. Is that all we can do here? I think so. I'm tapping Alt. So whenever I wiggle the screen like this, that's me going to be tapping Alt to see if there's uh, any highlights. We have one more quest. Wow, that is far. Okay. I'm going to assume it's through this road here or something. You can actually sneak up on him or sneak past him. Yeah, so just ambush their targets will have an advantage in the fight. Oh, but there actually is a sneak. Okay. I didn't know that that was a mechanic. Cool. Damage taking increase by 10%. Not that much, but it is something. No leader. Two hammer people. It's 
start next turn. Next turn. Oh, I feel like I could just ignore these two. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just underestimating them. Probably won't be able to kill him before he moves, because there's only one, one move for that, but I doubt I'll be able to kill her either with two moves. Seem to be the most exact same as far as attacks. I don't want to actually engage because first off they can just bravado anybody they feel like it. Um, this guy, I want him to actually miss and do nothing with coup de gras. But we will stand here where we're not actually engaged. Swing at both. And then just chill. I don't think we need to do anything further. Maybe surround this one. Stand in your way actually. I were to disengage, could you reach? Uh, try. What we're gonna do, do you have any guard? You have 10% guard, so we're not gonna waste a point on that, but we will go ahead and taunt, force you to engage. And if you can't reach, then we can at least stab him in the back. We'll stab this dude. Right. Guess we could just sit here and stab him again next turn. Are they? They are they're seriously going to attack their own ally? Uh, let's see here. So you move next. Well, we're just going to stay engaged here and do nothing, and then try to back off. Let's see if that works. As long as I back off, say, on my third move or second move, we should be okay. Wow, they, they're going to pummel that chick to death. Okay, so we're going to try to finish this guy off. Would I get hit there? I don't know. I'm not going to risk it. I'll just stand here for now. Go and swing now and then disengage. No, wait. We, we'll disengage first. Actually, no. I can just do this without getting hurt. is which one of these guys do I want to hurt more? Probably this one. He's weaker. With this one? I'm clicking, but unfortunately it's because on the tooltip it doesn't like it. Just let me... Let me, let me target this square. Alright, now we're gonna ram. Oh, she died anyways. I wanted to see them kill her, but all right. Let's 
far as I know, you only get a chance to get Glorious if the trait right here, if we look at Archer, you get a chance to, as far as I know, you get a chance to obtain that trait if you kill a leader, not just anybody. So we will go and let her take the kill. Let me think here. We don't really stand a chance of them doing any damage to us. Noting doesn't look like it. And that this doesn't seem to hurt our allies, but this will. I, I, I assume it's lag and not part of the cinematic, but I, I like that it lags right there because it does make it seem more powerful. Alright, we get some armor out of that. Probably just head back to base at this point. Pay, pay for our gains right there. this. Maybe we will go ahead and repair our stuff. We do that. Swap out our armor here. Can anybody equip medium armor? Can you equip it? You can. But, all right. Just pair of rangers only. Eight, eight to eleven and forces them to engage. It's interesting. Let's see what these guys are. It says a treasure map, but that's all I know. Kudanon the Russ. Rus oh, that, this is my target. I thought that was my target. Leader's protection. Ah. Uh, about this one. He's the first one to move, so it's not like I can really get out of his way. It's possible, actually. Yeah, I think we can do this. Oops, I don't want to hit that. That's not in turn. That's <laughs> that surrender. Reach me. Oh. Whoops. I didn't realize that. I should have moved him instead. Hold his own for now. I thought you couldn't do critical hit. So what was that then? That not a critical hit?
This is going to be painful, but if I don't disengage now, he's going to get two hits. Scudera. Okay, he'll get one extra hit in. 7 to 9. 5 to 6. Yeah, so we will try to disengage and get away from them. Stab. Back off. That's, I mean, we are taking a hit, but if we don't, we'll take a hit from him. Ranger. Stand over here, and that should. <laughs> this is how you ranger. So this is how you archer, right? Just shoot blank blank. Uh, I think poison happens after his move, so. Not 100% sure it doesn't tell me. At the end of their turn, yeah. So he, I will actually be taking uh, a hit if I don't finish him off now. One focus or whatever it's called. What it's called? Valor. This will get us another Valor. Not a. It's not a rear attack, but it will get us more Valor. I can use his turn to both destabilize him with a kick. This is Sparta. Then we'll weaken him. We'll carve him up. And then no turn. He moves first next turn, so yeah, we'll, we'll go and hit, hit him. Well, first on his side. Wait, no, she already has glory, guys. Need someone else to try to get glory, so I guess we'll have you do the kill.
I don't know how many episodes this will be. I'm going to try to make these smaller episodes because it was advised to me to try making shorter episodes rather than two hour length uh, movies, essentially. That way, and someone can click on it and like, oh, I don't want to see starting stuff, but I would want to see how he handles like, this event or something. I, th I thought I had that handled with chapters, but we'll give this a shot where I make them shorter episodes, but more frequent. I have assigned Tinker, right? Or do I need to assign a Tinker? Like, when it says assign Tinker, it doesn't mean I assign it to the workbench. It just automatically happens, right? Wow, 20 iron ore. That, okay. I, cool. Consumption by two, but I don't have an assigned cook. What's the difference between assigned cook and bonus? We're going craft one nonetheless, I guess? No, wait, I need the food for the work thing. Bench that gives me scrap. I don't want to spend the wood yet. One, one. I'm gonna make fourteen. Oh. I'm gonna make fourteen of these. Let's make sure that. of these. All right, what, did, what am I getting for Tinker? Plus 4% critical hit. Hey, this is going to be my critical hit check. So you did pick up some what? Ram skill. Is it? Oh no, we lose ram skill. That's what it. That's why it says. Arkansas area deals ten damage to all units at the start of the next turn, or if one disengages. So if I did this last on my turn and then first on the next round, I think that would work. It's double the damage. We could try it at least for one battle and see if that works the way I think it does. Pony can level up. This will level up your carrying capacity. It's, it feels like it's a waste to spin influence on Pony. <laughs> but I don't need anything out of you but the carrying capacity. Now, he can fight if I pick War Pony, but then he could also die, I think. I'm not entirely sure. So it might just be best not to let him fight. Alright, let's go ahead and rest. Then when we get back to town, that we'll call it a recording session. Every point after happiness gets us influence. And now that we are at max happy, we get 15% more combat experience. We get new people. Take a look at them first. I was part of another group of mercenaries, but. Blood Thirsty. Interesting. We can just inspect real talk now. Clever and dexterity. So this is a guy who has two positive traits, yet no negative traits. Actually makes him pretty good. Uh, so, uh, okay, so we don't have, actually have a warrior character yet. This will be a new character for us. 
Okay. It actually looks pretty good. We're going to avoid this person. Let's go ahead and claim our rewards, and we'll think about whether or not we want to hire Rolak, but next episode we probably will. Might she be looking for work? Here is your reward. Now we have some hard quests. We'll also consider whether or not we're going to do these. How much would it be to rest? Is it? Feel free to come back often. Forty-four. Well, there's always okay. folk looking for work around here, especially since all the fighting started across the border. Yeah, I, I didn't want to talk over him, even though we've already heard it before. It's not as easy to hear us at the same time. Anyways, um, yeah, if I was more fatigued, I would do it, but it's the same price whether or not I seem to be fully fatigued or barely. We'll get our stuff prepared. You can use my anvil. You buy this? I can also repair your buy armor. Oh, and I'm looking to hire a skilled blacksmith. If you happen to know one. Just want to make sure. This is a level one regular thing. These are rare or yellow. Plus four strength annihilation. Plus five strength. Or just, we'll sell this one. Oops. Apparently that's okay. Right clicking when this is up, just so equipped, which fine, that makes sense. Sell that. We keep the rest. There. A few dents here and there. So we can sell Nothing this. more. There. Good as new. We need more food. I got two days. Realistically enough, because there's a, a, a trait called ascetic, which if you don't have enough food, your characters actually get have to eat less food because they learned a new trait to save. If that makes sense. Basically, you can get a positive trait by not having enough food around. Oh. My concoctions can heal the most grievous in there. I hope you will be more careful next time. Still no sales that I've noticed. Have anybody who's currently available as an alchemist um blacksmith you probably haven't really achieved anything so losing experience here wouldn't actually matter could make a medicine but it wouldn't probably be enough to get you a level so we're not going to worry about that this moment we'll stock up on enough vials to make sure that someone gets a level so <laughs> okay put you back on whatever you were before Well, let's check out the blacksmith. Give me some throwing knives. Oh, that costs us wood. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do any of that. Rags. I could, I could, with leather and cloth, get plus 10 armor. Interesting. What are my guys using? Plus 5 armor. That actually is improvement. Wow, okay. Yeah, I guess we we're making rags. Can I have enough leather to make two? Oh, great. Mini game. Okay. The metal plates are heating. Press left click when a plate is red hot to forge an item. Press left mouse button when the metal plates sparks to forge an item of superior quality. Get all the plates at the right time to forge an item of exceptional quality. Well, I would have saved if I knew this. All right, all right. Did I do that right? I already forgot the instructions. Discovery. Oh, that's what the bonus is. I mean, plus 11. I already forgot their instructions. All right, when this metals... Wait! No! <laughs> Delayed! Alright, alright. Timing was off. <laughs> alright. Yet. Shouldn't have paid the repair then, but whatever. Um, 
I think these are different because they would have been different color clothing. Is that what's going on here? Yeah, so the, so the clothing generation you put at the beginning of the game is only for the farmer rags you had. Fine. Let's go and pawn them off. I'm a little sad that I paid to repair. I don't remember who all had repairs, so but that's probably... It's fine. You can use my anvil. I can also repair your armor. Oh, and I'm looking to... Or I could have kept it on and then just slapped it on when they lost their current armor, but that's... Actually, that would have been the smartest thing to do. Okay, uh... You're my blacksmith. You have one more, we'll get you a level up. Let's see if... I don't think there's anything I can do that doesn't cost wood. Twenty to fifty percent damage. Target has a chance to apply debuff. Dexterity. That'd be the ranger. Strength. Hmm. It's an interesting idea. Swordsman generally is in the front, so it's probably going to be knife throwing. Because the brute can do the charge. The brute can go anywhere she wants. So, but yeah, I guess we'll do this one. We are at, I would like to see, 9 of 80. Oh, and what is our bonus for this? Plus 2 strength. Kind of cool. One at a time. All right. Anything else I need to know? Here I have the rare or yellow hammer, and then my basic hammer in case I want to go back to that. Basic supplies. For level two tinker, I think that means apprentice. Level two miner. Level two blacksmith. My thief is bad. I need to actually steal something. My concoctions can heal the most grievous injuries. Be sure to hold on to the vials after using them. Fifty-two hundred to eighty-five. Is that, is that am I just stealing the one or the whole stack? Those refugees. I understand there's a war in Edoran, but that doesn't mean they can just help themselves. You touch it, you buy it. I can steal some of these. Here's what we'll do. Um, I'm going to buy one apple just for a second. All right, so it's the whole stack. We'll go for this one because we're at under 30, so there's no way we could go to the next level. We'll just steal some grapes. Reduce the amount of suspicion gain from all sources. Items of big locks, plus 2% critical hit. Alright, I think we've wrapped everything up. Thank you very much for watching Tran Wins War Tales. If there's something you'd like to see more of, let me know by hitting that like button. I'll see you next time.